Last night on News 4, we told you about a couple set to marry tomorrow. The groom was stuck on a ship. He was kept from shore by the hurricane. News 4's George Rickard has an update for us tonight. George? Boy, these are pre-wedding jitters of a different kind. Imagine being told two days before the wedding that the groom is being shipped back out to sea and can't be there. It's the Cheektowaga wedding that almost wasn't. Megan Freeberg got a call yesterday morning that her fiancé, Petty Officer Jeremiah Lalison, was sent back out to sea with the Navy's second fleet to ride out Hurricane Irene. That's when the mother of the bride called her Florida congressman, Bill Young, and within hours, a helicopter was arriving to pick him up from the ship last night. I didn't believe it until I actually got onto the helo. And then when it actually started lifting off the, the flight deck, that's when I knew I was going home. Um, it was actually surreal at first. I wasn't sure if I should be excited and happy because I was kind of afraid that something would happen and no, he wasn't going to arrive. Sure enough, Jeremiah got back to shore, but his flight to Buffalo was delayed for hours. He would have missed his connection. So he took the 10-hour drive home from Virginia and arrived at 9 this morning, the day before the wedding at Headstrom Memorial Baptist Church. I felt like a little girl. <laughs> I ran outside and I hugged him and I, I had a big smile on my face. <laughs> I was very excited. It's our day, but it's her wedding day and everything's going to be perfect. Megan is an Army sergeant herself. So as they set out the guest book covered in Army fatigues and photos of themselves as babies, they know this story of the wedding will be a story for the ages. I didn't think anything would happen like this. Of course, no one does, but. It'll definitely be a, a great story to tell our children and grandchildren. After tomorrow's wedding, the honeymoon will be in Florida. Megan was actually planning on surprising Jeremiah with his first ever helicopter ride in Orlando. But his first ride turned out to be in the Army chopper last night. George Rickard, News 4 at 530.